Hello, I wanted to practice the diaphragmatic breathing because I've seen this practice in sports and in physical therapy and I just thought it's really cool that SLPs can also work on this. Um, so basically, if a person is struggling to breathe in deep enough or isn't receiving enough um, long air in their lungs, then how are they supposed to have the air to produce the vocal quality or the vocal strength that they need? Um, or the length of phonation they need for longer utterances or sentences. So if someone is struggling with this, I would have them take a deep breath in, and I would watch you make sure their clavicles aren't going up, um, because that means they're breathing from their upper chest and not from their diaphragm. So I want to make sure that their belly is rising. And then um, some tactile cues that I can use is hands on your stomach, because you should be able to feel your stomach go up and down. Um, another one is to put hands on shoulders to show that your shoulders or your clavicles shouldn't be rising like this because then you're breathing up here. We want to breathe down in your stomach. So being able to feel that diaphragm pull down is what allows us to have air come in and expand. Um, another target is to increase um, steady exhalation. So instead of real fast exhalation when you're speaking to kind of take a deep breath and then exhale really slowly as we talk so we can get in longer utterances. Um, so cues for this might be hand on your abs to show slow down. Um, another feedback could be a mirror or um, biofeedback, but I don't know if I'm really I don't know. I don't know if I really like the biofeedback idea. I think the tactile cues work for most people, um, or the mirrors. Okay.